morning y'all welcome back to a vlog i haven't done a vlog or filmed a full vlog in a week which you guys wouldn't know because these are all like obviously i've had vlogs up speaking of i think i'm actually gonna go back to posting twice a week because i've loved the like once a week this is the first time in my like decade on youtube i've ever only posted once a week on youtube i love having like one long vlog a month and like typically that's just like what gets the most views meaning that's like what you guys like like the most i guess um, but I just have missed you guys and I feel like disconnected so I'm thinking about at least for summer Bringing back two vlogs a week. So this is the first Wednesday upload. Let me know what you guys think um, I am Feeling it. This one is weird. I just went using different eye patches and I think I like the pink ones more Anyways, I tried to vlog pretty much every day last week. This is kind of like a life reset <laughs> getting back into a routine post just like feeling so out of it and like being in a funk. I had like a really bad mental health thing. I like cried every single day and a lot was going on. Half of it was my fault, but also like I was just having a bad week. Honestly, the worst week I think I've had, like it was up there on my top. It was bad. It was not good. It was not good at all. But we're back. I went to the farmer's market yesterday. Oh, you know what I'm gonna, I did film setting up new furniture um in the studio entry room so i'll insert that footage here great news this room is looking a lot better as you all know in the last vlog this couch was looking weird with the different heights in this room and i got these little amazon things i will put them on my storefront and i'll link them below um they're furniture risers and they actually make the couch look even better it looks a lot better the rug i wasn't into it at the very beginning and now i am kind of into it like i felt like it looked a little bit weird but now i'm like you know what this is good and then um obviously the um coffee table which i still haven't even ordered so anyway sierra like i said um belonga on instagram she helped me design this room, which I've tagged her in um, my reel as well. If you guys want to go there, it's on my Instagram. You guys can find her Instagram really easily. You can hire her remotely or virtually. I mean, remotely or in person if you're in New York. But I love these. I will link the chairs below because I'm so obsessed with them. Like, they are amazing. And yeah, I did get some comments too about how this isn't really set up for like a studio because I need more depth for better, like for the camera and the angle and lens and all that. I know that. This is just also an entry room. It's not just a studio room. Like this is my front door. So like you walk in and you enter the house. Like this stuff is all going to go ignore that. But um, I'm just making do with this space. So I figured this space is just going to sit here anyways. Like I would never use this room if it weren't for like having it as a studio room. This is just a friendly reminder to subscribe to the podcast YouTube channel. So you guys can watch all the episodes. We've had a lot of good ones coming out recently. And I'm really excited about this room and this space. And I just feel like it's very like me. And I love it. Do you also have these Polaroids that we're shooting? For each podcast episode, I have some more under here too. Like, what do you guys think I should do with these? I don't want a Polaroid wall. I don't want it to be like juvenile, college-y. Should I just get like an acrylic tray that I can put them all in? Like, I think that could be cool. Um, whatever you guys think, let me know. But also, these Skims slippers, I'm obsessed with them. I got them last week and I'm wearing them. 24 7 they're so great i highly recommend guys so cute right so anyways it's seven i'm gonna go on a nice little silent walk silent walks are life-changing and then i have my workout this morning and i just i've got errands i've got random things i need to do i really want to go through my cookbooks and just like get some more inspo on what to cook this week um it's just gonna be a good time this weekend's gonna be so much fun but you guys will see that i'm gonna post this vlog, a week in my life vlog, and then the weekend vlog. And we're going to Vegas and Fort Worth. So it's going to be like so much fun. Um, but yeah, anyways, love y'all. Subscribe if you're new here. Um, time to go on a walk with my coffee in my beautiful neighborhood. We're just so grateful today. The set that I'm wearing, well, actually, it's not a set. It, I have a set to both of these, but they were not in the drawer. Top is 437, bottoms are Amazon. I love my 437 stuff. I need to get more. This Amazon set, I will say, like, it, 
it's not like it's like the most it feels like a little bit loose after wearing it a couple times but like it's 30 bucks it's just good for like a walk or like weightlifting you don't need to have anything like too crazy um and that's what i'm doing today and then i have like my green new balances obviously my eye patches my neighbors are probably like oh god the eye patch girl she's here again you know what i mean fits are you ready for your walk hi oh my god he's so perfect what a time Guys, I just got my car washed and I am brand new, okay? Like, it is spotless. They didn't give me a car freshener, but whatever. Um, okay. Oh my god, like the ins, everything. Ugh. I have a membership at, what is this, Carnation on Mockingbird. Um, that's only for the exterior, not the interior. I went like crazy with the interior. Well, my car needed a car wash. Anyways, I went to work out. Um, these people are like right in front of me right now, so they're just watching me talk to myself. I was just on the phone with Dominique. And I think I'm gonna stop at Firestone or something because I have to get my coolant topped off. If y'all are in Dallas, they do have a membership though where it's like unlimited monthly. Uh, maybe not unlimited, I don't know, but it's a good deal for exterior car washes. But honestly, like I am more of an interior, I don't really care what other people think. I, that's for them, you know what I mean? I care about the inside, so I need that membership. Then you gotta do that, so. Anyways. Okay, I'm home. The front room looks so cute, but I have a rug from Ruggable for outside. I don't even know if like, I really need a rug out here. I just thought I would try one. Maybe it'll make it look cozier. I know I need to, I know guys. It's clearly going to storm again. Everybody had a hard year. Nobody got their pain. All right, I definitely need someone else helping me straighten this rug out. I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of think I liked it better without a rug. You guys let me know. I really don't know. I feel like maybe it was better without the rug. I am just having the best day and let me tell you why I'm having the best day because it's basically raining and yes I know I just got my car washed but I got my car washed to get the interior washed I don't even think it's an option to not get the exterior washed and you get your interior washed when it's the kind of car like the car wash that I go to because you have to go whatever no one actually cares about that anyways I made my second coffee of the day, I went home and I got just some stuff done that I have not been wanting to do. And once you get those little stupid things done, you feel on top of the world. Then I got a little bit of work done and I sat, as you guys saw, and I read my cookbook, my menu for the week, which I don't always do it for like the week. I like to go to Sprouts, you know, as much as humanly possible. So I like to go for the day sometimes, but I am getting some things for the next few days, grilling, and I also have obviously my butcher box stuff. So I like that because it makes me try different recipes. Like I'm gonna make this like beef bowl thing. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It honestly sounds bad to like most people, like I would like it, but I just know that everyone else would be like, ew, you know what I mean? I just walked into this room and like, look at him. <laughs> Hi bud. He loves this room. I think he thinks it's his bed. Oh my gosh, these are finally sprouting. I don't think I've even filmed this yet, but I did do this. I actually literally just ordered an arrow, arrow whatever planter because it looks like a better deal. This is only 30 on Amazon. 
um, and that was like a hundred, but no soil, it's all just a butter situation, but this like doesn't even look right. I don't know. Like why don't I ever put a rug out here? This is going away, there's no rug needed here. What was I thinking? This is going away as soon as like Macy comes over and can help me. I'll bribe her with food and I won't tell her about this, you know? Okay, so I just had therapy over the phone when I was working before that. Where is my... It's like 3 p.m. and I'm hitting a wall. I have another workout tonight because I wanted to do Soul Cycle. That's just like how the scheduling works. Making my hyperfixation snack, which I'm sure you all know by now, but it is the brown rice, or just like any rice cakes, and cottage cheese. My favorite is the Good Culture cottage cheese. They don't have that at my sprouts. They have Good Culture, but they don't have the Good Culture cottage cheese, or at least I haven't seen it. It's not with the rest of the cottage cheese. So I have this, and I put some honey on it. Sometimes I'll put jelly if it's the morning, just depends on like what I'm feeling. I also got this honey from the farmer's market. And like, who do I think I am? Because they asked me, do you want like a squeezable tube? Which like, obviously that's gonna be easier. But I was like, no, no. I, I was like, I'm the real deal. I want the jar. No, I don't. This is gonna be so annoying every time I use it. But anyways, we're gonna have some of this so you guys can see. It's Scout. I will say this. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys, sorry. It was in my TikTok vlog. Okay, so it sounds maybe gross to some of you guys, but it's very great and a great source of protein, which like I need for my energy levels. So Scout Seafood Snacks, and I think, I don't think I tried this flavor, but it's just like a little tin of tuna, and then this topping, and I've only had one, and it was so good. Okay, I have a bunch of um, stuff I have to create mood boards for, work stuff that I've been working on today and honestly I'm just so tired I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep right now you can tell by my face how tired I am so I might take a little like 30 minute nap in between also after therapy even if it's like not even like a dire session I just get so tired like I have to take a nap this is what it looks like I haven't mixed it in I know it like seems gross but it's actually very good Okay, like you have to just trust me. Five dollars a thing, so very expensive. But. It is five forty-one. Go go. It's now six fifteen, and I'm on my way to my workout class. I'm doing another workout today. I'm going to Soul Cycle tonight because Presley and I want to take a Soul Cycle class together. Um, I'm really excited about I've been loving Soul Cycle again the past couple of months. I took one class that a friend hosted for her brand and I've just been like hooked back into it. I feel like spin is one of those workouts that like when you're in the mood for it, it's really fun. If y'all are in Dallas, I typically take from Kayla or Ashley. I take from Ashley more. I did read a little bit. This afternoon, I'm reading the new, it's Ella Mays, the same author who wrote To Love Jason Thorne and then To Hate Adam Connor. Those books are so good. They're like cheesy, sure, but they're so good. They're less cheesy than you would think. My workout set, by the way, is Year of Ours, and it's so soft. Year of Ours has the softest workout sets in it ever. Okay, anyways, bye. It's me and Dolly. Here we go. Back from my workout, I showered and I am in what I wish I could wear 24 7 Skims pajamas, skim slippers. By the way, update on these, just got them, love them, wear them 24 7. And then I have my Casper, I forget what this is called. I will link it, but it's basically just like a blanket jacket, blanket robe. It actually might be called that. Um, I'll link it. It is so cozy and I'm gonna make a little like beef, rice, broccoli, little mix thing. I'm listening to Armchair Expert, having a little healthy dinner. My siblings are obsessed with that app that like tells you when things are healthy and, like, or when their ingredients are like better for you. And my sister specifically is like going all clean and she's literally been my mom. I don't know where this came from. Um, but I just asked her to do Califia Farms and at least the actual coffee is great. I'm like scared about the cookie butter creamer. It's not really going to change anything, I don't think, until I get really tired of it, um, which I don't see happening anytime soon, but it seems to be good, so it seems to be fine. Oh, also, um, so the workout today, so 
school cycle was great. Christina had a great time. Um, I'm so excited to read my book again. I've been in such a book slump. And there's nothing better than like coming home, listening to a podcast, cooking dinner for yourself, and getting in bed early to read a book. But early, well, it's already 8.15. It's a little late for me. I like to eat dinner earlier. Um, but yeah, just having a really fabulous day. We really, in the next vlog, I'm going to go through what I've read so far in 2023. We need to do a recap. I need to do a whole book recap and get you guys up to date. But I'm feeling so much better. I will say like today was just the reset that I needed and therapy was great. And like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like on these vlogs, I'm like constantly recently going through it. And I know when I say like, I'm, just, I'm sure it's not someone you hear me talk about anxiety. Um, but there's just a lot of other things going on and I'm feeling a lot better and I'm just so happy and I'm just so grateful on my life right now. Like I'm specifically grateful for like the friends that I have because I didn't always have these kinds of friendships. Um, there were like many times in my life where I wanted like what I have now and I'm very, very grateful for it. And I feel like sometimes I take it for granted or it just like becomes like your normal. You know what I mean? Like naturally, but I don't want it to become the normal. I want to like always be very grateful and I think that really helps me. The silent walks have also been helping me a ton. Um, just to like get into a better headspace, you know? So anyways, oh, another thing. This is bringing it back to Butcher Box. Um, I was just thinking about like how like being in the kitchen like is like a creative, fun thing for me to do and I really like it. Um, and sometimes it's easy for me to like get in the same routine and do the same thing every single day. But what I like about Butcher Box on top of like just eating more protein is the fact that like I get other protein I wouldn't necessarily like grab for that I like am used to getting, you know what I mean? And it makes me like cook other things. Like I have like bison in there and I'm like, what am I gonna do? It makes me look at new recipes or remember other recipes from my cookbooks, which is another thing. It's very therapeutic. But yeah, just feeling better. Um, gonna get back to cooking and I will Talk to you guys soon. I wait as long as I want. It's not in the Like, let's go dancing. I'm kidding. Like, you know what I mean? Like, exactly. I'm going to make room in your life that, oh, it's privilege. Like, I can't even have what I want to. Listening to Armchair Expert, I got these fridge organizers, which I'm going to organize my fridge hopefully in the next vlog. I will um, put these in my storefront. I'm going to use this for my Olipop. Um, and my dinner is ready finally. It's like 9 p.m. Very late for me to eat. Um, there's cauliflower rice underneath it, but obviously it's kind of taken over. It's a little like beef broth, broccoli situation with some green onions. It smells amazing. I hate making like sauces or dressings and things like that. I really just hate it. I don't know why. Um, but I did it tonight and I, I totally understand why people do this. Guys, I just walked into my room. One second, um, and look who is fully ready for bed. He is knocked out. The sun is too much for him. Also, he's so sensitive to changing food. I gave him new food yesterday, and he's just been, like, he is something very, very sensitive. Also, while we're here, also, by the way, he always looks sad. He just has, like, droopy eyes. Like, he's not sad. But it does worry me, even though I know this about him. And then I'll like look at him and try to put him in the smile. So it's it's really no big deal. But I did want to say I had this blanket probably for like two years now. It's this I think it's by from Luna. I'll I will link it below. It's a weighted blanket that somehow has science that like makes you happy. Like I don't know how to describe it, but I didn't even realize that. And I was under the blanket and I was like, why am I in a better mood? And then I like happened to see it on the internet that that was what it was. Like just trust me, it sounds crazy. It really does. But it is so amazing it is my favorite way to blanket ever and it's cooling so you don't get hot like i have the brooklyn and one outside i don't get hot in it but it's like one that i'm doing to like cozy up you know this is like i will sleep with this feel amazing i get the best sleep ever and it just helps with anxiety so much but it is the best way to blanket ever so i will link it below fitz and i are going to bed So the book that I'm reading right now is Charlie, Love, and Clichés. I'm 30% in. I'm hoping to get through a large chunk of it tonight before I fall asleep. But I'm really liking it so far. I wasn't super into it until probably like 20%. But I don't know. It's like getting me out of my reading slump. I feel good about it. 
I'm in bed with my skincare and my Stanley. My meal was amazing, by the way. So good. So easy, too. Love that. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I um, love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Everyone has like a million different side hustles. And what you can start doing is just like microdosing side hustles. You could maybe like find a friend who does like a creative line of work. You know, just like reach out to um other people who are like doing something you're interested in doing.